everyone, and welcome back to 123 Geek. And uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video than I normally do, and it's actually something a little bit about me and my history in video games. So uh, I want to talk about something that kind of changed my life quite a bit, and uh, it was it was really cool, and the opportunity that I had being there really shaped my view in the video game industry. So I worked for a company called Game Crazy out in California. Uh, they, uh, they were part of a video chain out there called Hollywood Video and they had several stores and honestly it was probably one of my all time favorite jobs. My, my boss was amazing, his name was Ryan and he just was the coolest guy. I, I am honestly never, never going to forget him. He knew so much about video games. He knew so much about how to run a business. He knew so much, really basically about just everything in the industry. I mean, he, you know, they would, send him off to E3, they'd send him off to um, GDC, they'd send him off to, you know, a bunch of different expos. And, you know, he would go because he was so, uh, so enamored by it. It was very, it was very, it was so cool to him. So for me, the coolest thing was Game Crazy was just, it was like a haven. It was a game store that I can't believe lost out to GameStop. And, and honestly, the only reason why I think it lost to GameStop is because GameStop purchased out everybody else. They purchased out EB Games, which was Electronic Boutique Games um, it, here in the United States. I know that they still have EB Games, I believe in Canada, but nonetheless, it was like one of the best video game stores that I've ever been to. What made them so interesting was that you could try any game that you wanted before you bought it. Any game, any used game, any new game, you can try it before you buy it. And they didn't care how long you were there. Literally, you could have been there all day. Now, what made them also made them different was the fact that when they hired people, they really focused on the knowledge of that person, the knowledge in the industry. They, I, I recall some of the questions that they asked me were, what's your first, what was the first video game that you played? What are you playing now? You know, and then they would ask me trivia questions during the interview. And to me, that made a lot of sense. I would go into GameStop and I would see, you know, they hired a really pretty girl and they hired a good looking guy and I'd ask him questions. They'd be like, oh, you know, let's, let's look at the back of the game box. Oh, whoa. Yeah. So this game, um, it has two players on it and yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's good. It's a good game. I'm like, well, have you played it? No, but you know, it's good. It got really good scores. And I know it's not like that at every GameStop, but during the time, I was like, why do people even come here? No one knows what they're talking about. Matter of fact, I even knew a girl that got hired by a GameStop and she was in no way a gamer. She didn't know anything about video games or nerdy culture at all. She was actually one of the popular girls in my high school. The thing is, is that Game Crazy was probably, hands down, probably one of the best places to actually bring old consoles, bring old video games to talk and gain knowledge about video games. I mean, we honestly, truly loved video games without question. And the thing is, is that they were killing it. We had people coming in. It was all the time people came in. We had these trade up, uh, you know, get more for your trades before. GameStop was doing the power-up card with the extra, you know, towards the games that you, you, you know, brought in. We were doing 
like 15 to 20 percent extra on games that you bring in and the thing is is that we'd also take super rare games and the average we never ever turned away a game ever any game it could have been the cheapest game on the planet and um we'd be like i mean we can give you a dollar for it you know and honestly i don't think i ever recall getting offering anything less than a dollar now we would do store credit and we do cash and most of the time people want to store credit sometimes they want cash but most of the time they want to store credit because we had a huge selection of games the problem is is that there was only a handful of standalone stores i was lucky enough to be in one of those standalone stores now the standalone store was awesome a little bit more foot traffic it wasn't connected to a Hollywood video <sighs> and well what happened was they lost the race game crazy started closing and it was sad they started closing stores because Hollywood video was going out of business they weren't sticking together and it was kind of a disappointment Honestly, thinking back, it's probably one of the best video game experiences that I have and best work experiences I ever had. You had to have drive there. You had to have knowledge. You had to talk about video games. Your entire job basically was talking about video games, knowing classic video games. We offered classic video games at our store. This was before GameStop had classic video games. This is way back. I want to say it was 2004. Nonetheless, Game Crazy unfortunately went out of business. I lost my job and my boss was obviously let go. He went down with the ship though. He stayed there and closed everything out. Lucky for him, he actually went to go work for a toy company. And he was a manager there, and I bet you he still is, and he's probably making good money because he deserved it. He was an amazing manager and honestly extremely knowledgeable and never let go of his inner child. And that's the thing. As a geek, I'm never going to let go of my inner child because on the inside, I know that I love video games. I know that I like movies. I know that I like to act. I know that I like reading comic books and I love just everything. I love technology. I'm not going to let any of that go. And I think that's what defines me as a geek. Now, I'm not saying everyone is a geek uh, that f likes those things, but it really defines me. It used to be a subculture, but now it's kind of like, it's cool to be a geek. But I've been around through the thick of it, where it wasn't cool to be a geek, where I was made fun of, where I was bullied. Honestly, Game Crazy was basically my haven. People didn't make fun of me. We talked about video games. We talked about comic books. We talked about movies. We even talked about politics. <laughs> I didn't really care for politics and I still don't because life is too serious already. Why make it more serious? Nonetheless, Game Crazy was by far one of the best companies that I ever worked for. I guess that would be Hollywood Video, but nonetheless, when it comes down to it, that place I'm never going to forget. Unfortunately, like I said, they're gone and there's not gonna be any chance of them coming back, I don't think, unless something changes, I don't know. Nonetheless, if you worked for a video game store, Please put them in the comments below. Tell me if you ever worked for Game Crazy and what was your experience there? Anyway, if you have any questions, also put those in the comments below. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon, and don't forget to share my video. I'm also now on BitChute at 123Geek. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by 123Geek. Have a fantastic week.